Its motto is, the world looks different from here, and it does. Northern Arizona University sits 7,000 feet in the air, surrounded by the snow-capped San Francisco peaks and a Ponderosa pine forest here in Flagstaff, Arizona. Plenty of wide open spaces for any kid looking to strike out on his own. There's so much to do. You have Sedona, Grand Canyon, the mountain. Flagstaff is really homey. It's got a comfortable, welcoming feel to it. NAU, same thing. I mean, Flagstaff and NAU, they're not separate. It's just all one big community, I'd say. NAU is one of three state schools in Arizona. It's got about 20,000 students, but it has a very close-knit feel among the students on campus. One of those students who arrives as a freshman in the fall of 2013 is 18-year-old Colin Brew, here to study business. And how did he come to choose NAU? He applied to uh, CSU, Boulder, and NAU. Yeah. And NAU was the furthest away, so that's why he picked that one. Because he just wanted he... to be away from home and yeah. just wanted to be on his own independent. Colin is the second of the three sons of Claudia and Doug Brew, and they drop him off 10 and a half hours away from their Colorado home. But certain that, at least in this idyllic place, he'll be safe. Looking around this campus, can you tell why he liked it so much, why he was so attracted to it here? Well, it's a great community. It's a beautiful community. At first, it seems Colin is suffering from the all too familiar fall freshman blues. He would always kid me, I'm not going to be homesick. I can't wait to go. And two months later, no. I think I made a mistake. I want to come. I want to come home. But the jitters start to fade once Colin begins making friends like fellow freshman Nick Peary. We became uh, random roommates freshman year in the dorms. And I met his family the first day. Just became really close right off the bat. Would you say he was your best friend? One of my best friends, for sure, definitely. We ended up um, rushing the fraternity second semester. Kyle Zintek also meets Colin at that fraternity. Well, you're smiling, you're grinning, so. Yeah, I mean, just thinking about just the kid's like heart, honestly, um, the smirk that he always had to, this was a, I don't know, that kid had something just about him. The boys join the Delta Chi fraternity at NAU, a school where Greek life is big on campus, the people, the programs, and of course, the parties. Parties like this one, shot by an NAU student. That's the part that worries Colin's parents. What was your impression? I kept thinking, like Animal House. Because that's, <laughs> that's all I really knew. That paints a picture. I wasn't happy about it. But I told him he could make those decisions. And that was your whole philosophy, bringing up the kids, right? When you're in my house, I'm going to take care of you. You're going to be safe. But when you go off to college, you're going to explore. You're going to make mistakes that you're going to live by. By sophomore year, Colin and his friend Nick move off campus to this apartment complex known as the Courtyard. It's a popular spot for Delta Chi, housing several of their fraternity brothers and is conveniently located just across the street from NAU. We had the whole little courtyard so we could go out there, maybe, you know, just get together, play some beer games or something. It had sort of a reputation at the time for being a place to party and hang out. Police were often visiting the courtyard, getting noise complaints, getting complaints of students drinking. Were you concerned that Colin would go off to college and start just partying his face off? I was always concerned about that. And of course, I didn't like it. But I knew in the end he would get it out. But before he would get the opportunity to do that, tragedy strikes on campus. NAU has been in existence for 118 years. And for 116 of those years, there had never been a shooting on campus. That changed on the night of October 9th, 2015. The night starts out like so many others, with a party at the courtyard. What are you guys doing that night? We're just hanging out. Just a couple of people drinking. It's Thursday night. It wasn't anything crazy. Do you guys even know what no, started I, everything? No, I, I don't know what happened, how it started. Around 1 a.m., Kyle and Nick, along with several other people at the party, say they hear what sounds like an argument going on right in front of the courtyard. It wasn't a memorable night. I mean, and 
till everything went south. Zach Volpo and Nick Pletke are also Delta Chi brothers who are at the party that night. There's a verbal confrontation going on in the street. All of a sudden I see the group move into the parking lot. That's when I saw the flashlight flick on. Do you remember ever seeing the gun? I remember seeing a light. I thought it was um, a security guard or a cop or something. I had no idea. I looked down for a second, and all of a sudden I heard three, four loud, really, really loud bangs. I thought it was fireworks or something. Zach runs across the street into the NAU parking lot, and he's horrified. Colin Brew and Nick Peering are down. Both of them bleeding on the ground, each of them shot twice. I was in so much shock, I had no idea. And so I like saw like a puddle of blood next to me. And the only person I didn't recognize was the one standing. And uh, realized that he was the gunman. Immediately turn around, book it back, try to find some cover. When I saw this blinding light, it kind of clicked with me that something's not right. The shooter fires off several more rounds, this time hitting Delta Chi brother Nick Prado and Kyle Zintek. How do you get shot in the back? I turned around when I saw that light. Next thing I know, like on the ground, and it's just, it's like all numb. Is there an ambulance coming? When we come back, how did a college party turn into a war zone? As police arrive, they confront the teenage shooter. Body cameras capturing all the action. Thank you. I'm so scared. Can I call my mom? And you'll be shocked when you learn who that shooter is. Stay with us. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.